Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full review and basically ranking every single cream bronzer that I have in my collection. I know that cream bronzer is super popular right now, so I thought it would be helpful to swatch all of these for you and then just talk about a little bit of the differences in certain formulations. I'm going to be covering a little bit of liquid bronzers as well. We're just going to throw those in here, but a full deep dive on cream bronzer. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about are what I would consider to be bronzing bases. So these are liquid products that I feel like really fit in a routine where you're somebody who tends to wear a lot of really natural makeup and you want something that you can more so use for instant gratification of bronzing and boosting the complexion with light to minimal makeup used on top. These types of bronzers are more so meant to be worn sheer. They're not really intended to be built up to full opacity. So they're really great for natural looks or just day to day, you know, kind of no makeup, makeup, no fuss, no muss look. So we have the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drop and then the Say Sun Glow. Now the Say Sun Glow specifically is the bronze shade. There is a Say Star Glow, which is more of a champagne pearl. So if you're looking for that bronze effect, Sun Glow is the one you're going to want to go with. Overall, I feel like they perform really similarly. Just sheer light, you know, bronze on the skin, nothing too intense and can can't really, in my opinion, be worn much like a true bronzer. But like I said, if you're putting light to minimal makeup on top, you will still keep that bronzing effect. So they're great to just kind of pep up the complexion and give you a little bit of that vacation sun kiss on the skin. Now, D Bronzy from Drunk Elephant, considerably more fluid and does have a slightly less noticeable luminous finish on the skin compared to the Say. The Drunk Elephant one could perhaps be a little bit more enticing to those of you who are into the whole makeup with skincare benefits spiel. Um, I personally really like the product just in general. Um, I don't really use it for the cocoa extract and platinum peptides. So I think it's a really beautiful product, but if you are into um, you know, skincare and your makeup, maybe you would really enjoy this. And then the Say one is slightly darker. And like I said, has a little bit more of a luminous finish. So I do find the Say one to be slightly more strobing on the skin, but overall I use them in the same way. So underneath makeup to you know bring a little bit of life into the complexion without going in with like a full type of bronze. So these are really nice and you don't actually have to apply both of them all over the complexion. You can apply them with a brush and be a little bit more strategic with them and you'll still get, you know, more of like a targeted specific placement of the bronzer on the face. But just keep in mind, if you're putting something like a full coverage foundation on top, you're probably going to negate a lot of the effects that the product gives you because you'd just be covering it up with makeup. So I don't necessarily think they're great for anybody who's using, um, you know, very full coverage base products. But that being said, you can mix those into your foundation to kind of bump up the shade, get it a little bit darker and more bronzy. And it's also going to put a little bit of those luminous pearl pigments into the foundation and base product that you're wearing as well. This is the Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. And in my opinion, this product is uber special and really unique because this type of cream bronzer actually bridges the gap between products like this and something that's more of a traditional cream bronzer that you would get and use, you know, for a little bit more intense color. So the special thing about the Mario Skin Enhancer, it's so hard to remember the name, the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. So the special thing about this product is it's buildable, but upon initial first application, it's actually quite sheer. And the way the product glides over your skin and really just melts into your complexion is phenomenal. And dare I say, this I think is probably not only one of the most unique makeup products I have in my collection in general, but also I think probably one of the best beginner friendly makeup, well like cream bronzers that I think I could suggest to you because it's so sheer and so buildable. The formula is very intuitive to work with and because the pigmentation isn't, you know, like through the roof, it's not difficult to blend out. In fact, if you did feel like you maybe used a little bit too much, it is so easy to fix your mistakes with this product and just perfectly blend it out. It always looks good no matter what. Now, like I said, it's a little bit more of a 
sheer formula, but that I don't think should deter you because you can build it up to get a little bit more intensity if you wish. I just feel like because I don't have anything else to compare this to, it really stands out in a cream bronzer video because it's so unique and because it's almost, in my opinion, foolproof. I think it looks so good. So you can wear this on top of your makeup as your strategic bronzer. Um, Mario also will put it all over the entire complexion, much like this, to kind of, you know, give you an all-over warmth to the complexion, but it's far less strobed than the liquid ones I mentioned. It just looks really natural, really healthy, very glowy, very angelic on the skin. And honestly, even if you are a cream bronzer lover, I still do think this is worth picking up because it just adds another layer of dimension to the bronzing in the complexion. And I do think that you can really incorporate this into your makeup routine on a daily basis because it's sheer. So it's never going to be like too over the top. And even, you know, if you aren't going for like a super bronzy look, this is so nice to just add that little bit of warmth to the complexion. Liquid bronzing products. So I have three to speak about. First and foremost, I do want to say with liquid bronzers, I do find them to be a little bit trickier on occasion to work with because they tend to set down rather quickly. And as a result of that, if you're not really, you know, fully practiced with the type of, you know, liquid bronzer that you've chosen, I have run into issues where I felt like I didn't have quite enough time to properly blend it out and I noticed a little bit of my base products lifting so foundation concealer things like that but overall they are really nice if you you know practice with the product because once they set down they do tend to be a little bit more budge proof than certain cream bronzers and I do really love a good liquid cream a liquid bronzer but just the formula does sometimes take a little bit of getting used to however I do want to say I think the one that is the easiest to use is the radiance booster from iconic london now this is really pretty because you can wear it as your liquid bronzer or you can wear it all over the face as like a boost on the complexion so this to me is kind of like a hybrid of a liquid illuminator a tinted moisturizer and a liquid bronzer so you can kind of find a way to fit this into your routine depending on the type of look that you're going for this shade specifically is in bronze glow and i like using this one as a liquid bronzer i do have the medium shade in this line and I like using that more as like an all-over illuminator. I don't find that this one is that difficult to work with. I like to apply it with a brush, but overall I really like this one and I think it's a good liquid bronzer that's not going to be too intense. Now the other two liquid bronzers are the Glossier Solar Paint and then the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. Now I know that this is a contour product, but I personally do not use this to contour. I wear it as a bronzer and that's the way I like it. Um, I just don't think it looks the best as a contour on my skin and I do tend to like diffuse it out enough to where it looks more like a bronzing effect. I do find these to be really similar. Um, they dry down rather quickly on the skin and they look really beautiful and natural. They kind of have this, um, you know, way that they sort of like set to the skin, almost like in a latex finish. They flex with your skin really nicely. There's also a lot less creasing and migrating with liquid bronzers versus cream bronzers. So they tend to stay put once they've dried down. Now, Glossier Heat has a little bit more of a luminous finish to it. Um, there's some shimmer in the Glossier heat one the charlotte tilbury contour wand although there's not like noticeable shimmer to it it's not matte um it sets down again kind of in that like glazed latex finish on the skin so i do use these the same way well all three of these i use all three of these the same way uh liquid bronzer i do really like it just takes some practice but if you're somebody who wants your bronzer to you know look natural and skin like but stay put a little bit longer i think liquid bronzer could be a good go good go <laughs> some cream bronzers come in stick formula, which could be advantageous for some people who do prefer to apply their bronzer, like their cream bronzers directly to the skin. I personally don't recommend that technique. I think it's just a little bit more difficult to blend out, but I know a lot of people have a preference on that type of application. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. This is quite a classic. I've been a fan of it for years. Um, it's more of a mid-tone milk chocolate type of bronze, and I do really like this one. It's more of a traditional balmy cream bronzer. So if you are somebody who likes something a little bit more on the dewy side, uber natural, really easy to work with. Um, the milk chocolate tone of Bondi Bay specifically is really nice for me during the winter months, but doesn't really give me that like punch of tan that I need during the warmer 
like summer and spring, you know, when I get a little bit of a natural tan. But overall, Bondi Bay is um, just like a traditional stick cream bronzer. Now, when it comes to the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer Sticks, I think this is a really great formula. It's a little bit moussey and it's slightly more dry. Now, the way that I would really recommend you using the Rare Beauty Cream Bronzer is instead of taking it directly to the face, pick it up on your brush like you would your regular bronzer and then apply it to the skin. You'll get a much more diffused look and although this is a cream when it's being worked into your skin it feels like it's you know like melting and you know really getting worked into your skin absolutely perfectly and then it does have the ability to set down um, I do find that some days I'll set it with a little bit of powder but most of the time I think it looks great on its own I have two shades I have full of life which is more of my traditional like bronzing tone and then i also have true warmth now this one's quite red it's almost like a mahogany undertoned bronzer so i tend to wear this one as a blush this was the first one i picked up and it wasn't working for me as a bronzer because it is really that strong red undertone but i can use it as a blush and i think it'll be a really pretty color in the fall but overall i do think that the rare beauty ones are a little bit of an easier formula to work with and i like how these have like i said a little bit more of that satin set down on the skin so powder isn't always necessary with these whereas with the nude sticks ones i could perhaps see some people not really liking that um, like almost like balmy sticky feeling on the skin i personally don't mind it but that is a big difference between the two stick formulas next i want to move into what i consider to be my balm like bronzers so the rms bronzers and then the tower 28 bronzer although these are two different brands i find them to perform almost identical so the tower 28 west coast bronze um, i mean even when you like touch this it just feels so balmy so gorgeous so keep in mind um, you know depending how much of the product you use and how you blend it out how sheer you blend it out that's going to determine you know how much you actually feel that balm like finish on the skin um, and then the rms ones rms is i believe coconut oil infused so it feels a little bit more slippy than the one from tower 28 but even when you see them swatch side by side you'll see they're all these kind of like pearly luminous bronze shades these bronzers specifically are again kind of what i would consider to be geared towards people who wear light to minimal makeup or if you want kind of like a bronzer topper type of situation i don't necessarily see someone who really wants like a super bronze kind of like full glam full beat type of look to enjoy this on its own but i think used with another cream bronzer you could really like it um, especially if you had a cream bronzer that you feel like is a little bit too matte you can use this to top on top of it to just kind of give it a little bit more of that luminous finish. I also wanted to mention for my black viewers, I do feel like these products specifically would look really amazing on black skin tones because you can use them as a bronzer topper or you could even use this as like a little bit of a luminous glow on some really deep skin tones because these aren't going to look like gold or champagne against a deeper skin tone they're just going to kind of add a little bit of bronze warmth and glow without like standing out as quite as stark as you know a champagne or a rose gold or something like that so these bronzers are really great used strategically on the face but overall if you have a oily skin type or a lot of visible texture that you don't really want to be brought to light i don't think these would be the best bet for you um, and if you are somebody who wants more of an intense bronze and you really like to build up the product I think just keep in mind that the more you wear of these balm gloss types of bronzers you will feel them on the skin um, sometimes your hair will get stuck in them but they're beautiful I do like using them I'm just really strategic about the way that I apply them on the skin but great for light no makeup makeup type of application as well moving into more of traditional style cream bronzers the ones that come in little compacts and pots i'm going to start off with the huda beauty tantor now i have this one in the shade light and i did really like this when i first had it in my collection because i didn't have that many cream bronzers um and now i just find myself not really reaching for it it does have a great intensity in terms of pigmentation so if you are somebody who does like to do a little bit more of a glamorous dramatic contour i think that this is something that you would like i just personally feel like you could totally pass on this one though specifically because 
it is so similar to my elf putty bronzer they both kind of have that like dimethicone slip against the skin to where they feel kind of like a silicone face primer like that's the same type of texture and formulation i feel that the both have obviously the elf one is much more affordable and that's not to say that the huda one is bad i just find that they perform really similarly now the huda one's going to have a lot more pigmentation with less product so if you want more intensely pigmented you know cream bronzer this is probably what you'd want to pick but if you're shearing out the huda one i get the same effect and the same feel and the same set down on the skin as i do with my elf putty bronzer my only gripe with my elf putty bronzer is this is so tiny and i use big fluffy brushes to bronze so i do feel like if the elf one came with um you know more surface area to dip into it would be an easier experience to use but i mean the product is still really great but you can see what i'm saying like dipping a brush into oh my gosh um dipping a brush into this is so much easier uh than dipping a brush into this but overall the elf putty bronze is really great um and both of these i feel like they just look really similar on the skin this is also not technically a cream bronzer but it still applies like a cream bronzer and i do feel like you kind of get the best of both worlds when you use this so it's the milani cream to powder foundation yes it is a foundation so this one is in the shade spiced almond um because this is cream to powder it applies like a cream but then it has a powder set down on the skin so the product does transform in that sense and i really like that because it tends to stay put i feel like you get a nice still kind of like skin like finish and depending on the products that you have underneath that's going to determine like what the actual set down of the product is on your skin so if you're wearing a dewy tinted moisturizer it's going to look a little bit more dewy versus if you have a matte foundation underneath it but overall the shade spiced almond works really well for me i like the formula of this and because it does have that powder set down i feel like i don't really need to set it with powder bronzer um, it doesn't stay balmy or sticky on my skin when i pair it with you know like my foundation and concealer so i really like that one so then we have the refi i keep wanting to say reefy but i really like this brand um, this is the refi cream bronzer I can open it I'm being really careful not to break my nails this one's in the shade tan so this one has a little bit more of like a nice cinnamon undertone um, I do really like the formula of this it kind of melts when it hits the heat of your skin and it does blend out really nicely as well um, this one to me is really nice especially like on the apples of the cheeks and more towards the center of the face because the tone of this one really gives you a little bit more of that like heat like that little bit of redness that you get from when you've been in the sun so it does replicate that suntan really nicely um, rather sheer still buildable but overall a really solid option and not too luminous as well so not gonna look like shiny or glittery on the skin so this is the cream bronzer that actually made me fall in love with cream bronzer it's the tom ford shade and illuminate duo we're only going to be focusing on the bronzer but you do get a really beautiful balm highlight in this as well so the bronzer itself is one of those gorgeous golden milk chocolatey bronzes it is on the balmier side so it definitely looks a little bit more dewy it also looks really nice underneath a light tinted moisturizer but i think that again like I love it, but I have a dry skin type, so I'm okay with like that balmy kind of sticky finish on my skin. It doesn't really bother me that much, and I tend to wear my hair up a lot when I do wear stickier, dewier products. I just know how to <laughs> work around them, but overall, a really great investment cream bronzer. I think you'll get a lot of use out of it, and I do really like that you have the Tom Ford highlight as well, so I think the formula of this is absolutely exceptional, and I have the um, Intensity 1 shade, so it's not too dark. They do have, I think, three or four different intensity shades, but number one works for me all year round, and it's just a beautiful Tom Ford cream bronze. Another one that I've really been a big fan of, and I do think it's a good kind of middle ground between super luminous glowy cream blushes and then something that still gives you that glow and that luminous finish without being over the top because I did wear this a lot even when I had acne and I didn't really feel like it was making everything come to light. Um, the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer. This one's in the shade Teddy. I think this is such a gorgeous, warm, golden, weedy brown, and it just looks so pretty and so natural. It 
it's right in that sweet spot for me where it's not too dark that it doesn't look so dramatic of a bronze but it still gives me that really nice warm glow that I love so much so the Fenty cream one is also really amazing let's just throw this right in here my favorite cream bronzer of all time the one that I will always repurchase will use without fail like it is my favorite ever the Chanel Le Beige cream bronzer. I have two different shades. I have 390, which is this one, and then I have 395, which is the deeper shade. I am aware that there's a third shade now, which I think is supposed to be like more in the middle of these two. The cream bronzer of all cream bronzers, this is like the cream bronzer that rules them all. It's phenomenal. It looks good with makeup. It looks good without any other type of makeup. So if you're just wanting like a little bit of bronze on your skin and you're not gonna wear any other complexion products, maybe a bit of spot concealing. This is just so consistently the best in my opinion. I love how it smells like Chanel. I just, I love everything about these. Um, they're luminous without being glittery or flecky. They are sheer but buildable. And the tone of them, in my opinion, is just perfect. I love the Chanel Cream Bronzer. It's not too dewy. It doesn't set down matte. It just sets down perfect. It look, but you can make it look dewy, obviously, if you put like a little bit of a dewy setting spray on top, or you can set it with powder if you wish. Um, but I just find the formula to be so perfect and just everything that I look for in a cream bronzer, they last all day. I don't have to do touch up. I, the Chanel cream bronzer, it just, it wins for me. It's just the best one. Now let's discuss some of the newest launches of cream bronzer. I'm gonna start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Bronzer. Now this one's really unique. I've never used anything that is like this type of a cream bronzer with this type of formula. It reminds me of like clay. It has a very clay-like formula to it. It reminds me of, oh my gosh, what were those things from art class? I'm talking to you like you can help me, but I'm, I'm trying to brain blast right now. Oil pastels, oil pastels. The formula reminds me of oil pastels from art class. I'm like so excited that I remember that. But it has this really unique clay-like formula. Um, it does need to be applied with a dense brush specifically. I feel like this is one of those bronzers where you do need to use the right type of tool. So a dense brush or a sponge would probably be your best bet. But this one is really stunning. I find this one to be pretty matte on my skin. Like it's not particularly luminous or dewy looking. It just kind of looks more skin-like and it doesn't really reflect back too much light. So it's more just like a true bronze. I do like that you can sheer it out um, and it's good. I like it. I, I, like I said, I don't really have anything else in my collection. That's why well, I definitely don't. I don't have anything in my collection that's formulated like this. So I really do like how it's not as creamy. It's slightly more dry and more clay-like, like I was saying. So it doesn't tend to like melt or migrate and move around the face quite as much as some other creams do. All right, now we are gonna talk about the Rose Ink Cream Bronzer, the Say Sun Melt, and the new NARS Cream Bronzer. I'm gonna say I like all three of them. I don't think there's all that much of a difference between the three formulas. I feel like they all kind of really remind me of each other and I apply them all the same. I found that they all had the same longevity. They all looked really great in natural light. And I think it's really gonna come down to the specific tone that you want. If I'm trying to really pinpoint exactly what I feel like is different from formula to formula, that's really me grasping at straws because I find that they are all really great. I will say I think that the say sun melt specifically is the most dewy and the easiest to sheer out whereas the NARS and the rose ink ones perform pretty similarly I think the rose ink one is slightly more matte than the NARS one but overall the NARS one can be built up a little bit more intense than the rose ink one but they're all really good. They all have a little bit of luminous pigment to them, so they do reflect back light and give the skin a natural amount of sheen and luminous glow, but it's not over the top. Honestly, the biggest thing I will say is say the sun melt is definitely the most luminous, definitely the most glowy, but it's still not, you know, super dewy or sticky on the skin. And then when it comes between the rose ink and the NARS, I think you're gonna have to go based on the shade that you like better um, versus formula because I do think that they're really similar and they're both great bronzers, um, but I really do like how NARS has 
Laguna as a cream because I do love the Laguna powder bronzer and the casino powder bronzer um i have laguna 2 and laguna 3 so laguna 2 is the shade that i like a little bit better yeah guys like when it really does come down to it i do find these three these two specifically the nars and the rose ink to be really similar and then the say one i feel like is also similar to them as well the charlotte tilbury one is really the only one that has like the most difference in terms of formulation out of those new bronzer launches, but overall really great. Oh my gosh. All right. Those are all the cream bronzers. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, like maybe I didn't touch on something specifically throughout the video, please just leave it down below and I will get back to you. I'll help you out as much as I can. But overall, I will list and link each of the bronzers in the description box down below. And I'll also have the specific shades. I think that's everything I wanted to mention. So I hope that this was helpful. I really wanted to make this like in depth and really go through each different type of formulation and just kind of make a giant reference point for cream bronzers for the future. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye everyone.